My final destination in Donegal is St. John's Point, at the southwest corner of the county. The weather changes quickly in Donegal and has turned into a magnificent evening. I've come to Castle Murray House Hotel to cook some of the eco label salmon. The head chef is a French man called Remy Dupuis, and the restaurant was renowned for its seafood. Every day, weather permitting, local fishermen deliver their catch straight into the kitchen. Today's delivery includes a magnificent halibut, some Dublin Bay prawns, black sole, John Dory, and a couple of squid. So, how are you going to cook your salmon? Well, we're going to poach the salmon with uh, a late core bouillon, a bit of charlot, a little bit of carrot, a bit of lemon, thyme, bay leaf, and parsley. Then we're going to make a fondue of tomato with a bit of tarragon and yeah. uh, a shaved cream to go with it. Great, I'll show you then. You're going to do it by portion, are you? Since yeah. you've got your knife out. Nice and tell portions. me how you filleted um, this fish, the salmon. I just uh, lift uh, one fillet on the side, you know, turn it over, remove the bones, then uh, I'll peel it and uh, take out the little bones as well, which are on that, uh, on that fillet there, you know, just there. So I removed all that. And uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to just roll it up in clean fillet, just to keep it together. So before I just put it in the clean fillet, I'm just going to season it a bit. And the clean fillet doesn't get affected by the heat? No, it won't. And you'll be able to... Uh, Take your fish out, you know, of the clean film without a problem. What I'm going to do first is get the core bouillon ready. We're going to use uh, a bit of lemon. Okay. We're going to use uh, those bay leaves there and a branch of thyme. Into boiling hot water? Yeah. That's been salted? Yes, a bit of carrot. So you squeeze the lemon juice. Yeah. So you've got carrot, bay leaf, thyme, squeeze of one lemon juice in there. Yeah, a bit of parsley chopped. Parsley and salted water. And shallots. shallots. There we go. Bit of pepper. These um, clink fillet wrapped yeah. salmon go in. I'm just going to uh, a couple of holes. So that's how the flavour from the court bouillon goes in. Exactly. There we go. Okay. Now. If you see the water is barely boiling, everything is going to cook very, uh, very slowly. Your salmon won't be... Uh, overcooked. Overcooked, yeah. We're going to leave them in there for approximately 15 minutes. So now we can start the tomato uh, concassé. Okay, great. So we have the shallots, the brown sugar, clove of garlic, chopped tomatoes and tomato juice. And have your tomatoes been skinned? I skinned them earlier and uh, I take out all the juice, you know, from the seeds. Okay. I just strain them in a little safe, you know, and I got uh, the juice of it, you know. So everything gets used. So seeds. you have your diced shallots, your diced tomatoes. Yeah. Just get my garlic ready. I use uh, half uh, extra virgin olive oil and half some sunflower oil. Why do you use a mix of them? I was wondering, I thought, hmm. The olive oil, you know, will be a bit too strong, you know. Okay, too flavorsome. Spe especially the extra virgin ones. Just put a cube of sugar into it. The sugar is just going to take out the acidity of the tomato, right? Like. Okay. The garlic. Garlic. Very fried the garlic. Thank you. Tomatoes. Just pour the juice. Now we're going to let that reduce for five minutes. Okay. The time it dries up a little bit. There we go. I'm going to chop the tarragon in the meantime. And you put tarragon in when it's finished? Yeah. I put the tarragon at the end. Like that, you, you'll keep all the flavour and the colour of the tarragon in the, in the sauce. Like. I like tarragon. It's nice. It's nice here, Blake. So you're also going to serve a cream with this? Yeah. A chive cream. A chive cream. So run me through the ingredients for your um, chive cream sauce. It's very easy. Just butter, shallots, chives and the cream. Okay. Just a bit of seasoning as well. Lovely. So I'll take a bit of butter. There we go. So how much butter have you got there? Oh, uh, 15 grams approximately. Was that half a shallot or a whole shallot? Whole shallots. One whole shallot. One a spoon? Thank you. So I don't want them to be coloured, you know. I'm just getting out the sweetness out of it. And when they start to, be, to get a little bit transparent, like now, that's when I'm going to pour my cream in. And how much cream 
much cream did you put in there? I put up approximately 200 milliliters. So your cream reduces here a little bit, does it? Yes. About halfway? Yeah, halfway. How come you get to taste it and I don't get to taste it? I'm your guest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to take out my salmon now. Mm. Oh, that's gorgeous. And really sweet too. That sugar cube tip is a really good one. Yeah. Especially if your tomatoes aren't at their best. Yeah, I know the Irish people, you know, like a little bit of sweetness, you know. Oh, yes. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so, the tomato is done. The okay. cream is reducing. I'm just going to put my chives in the blender there to make something nice and green, you know. Okay. Like the, the cream should be nice and green when it's finished. Okay. Just pour that in. So you were saying earlier, at this stage you could use you could use basil, you could use thyme, you could use tarragon instead of the chives here if you wanted to. Yeah, you can actually mix the herbs as well, like you know, you can use parsley, chives, and basil at the same time, like you know. Okay. Just been blended. As you see, it's nice and green. It's beautiful. It's yeah. so fresh. Just get a plate. So now I'm just going to put my tarragon in there. Smells so good. I love this because everything is really delicate. You know, when you've got a really good fish, any, you know, any good fresh fish, you don't want to overpower it with really strong flavours. You just want delicate accompaniments. Yeah. We'll be done the salmon. Look at that. Remy, you're doing Donegal proud. I hope so. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I just hope, you know, uh, Donegal gets on the map a bit. Of course. Parsley, we can put a bit of tarragon. Guess I just have to give it a taste. Well, I suppose, you know, it's lunch day. Oh, it's so a name your dish. So we have a poached salmon on a tarragon, tomato concassé and chive cream. Oh. Do you like it? <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, Merci beaucoup, Remy. Oh, you're welcome. And I'm so excited about eating in a restaurant tonight. Well, we'll be waiting for you. As well as the delicious salmon, there's lots of other fantastic fish on the menu. Baked fillet of hake, Atlantic turbot cooked papillot style, seared Donegal scallops, pan-fried fillets of black sole, steamed blue lobster. But what's really caught my eye and which I've ordered for my starter is the squid. And it may surprise you to learn that squid is being caught off the coast of Ireland. And this squid was caught locally just off the coast of Donegal a couple of hours ago and delivered directly into the kitchen. And I'm very excited about trying it. Thank you very much. That looks absolutely delicious. Enjoy. Thank you. And it tastes just as good as it looks. Fresh from the sea, proudly supported by BIN, the Irish Sea Fisheries Board. My new book, Fresh from the Sea, which accompanies the series, is now available from all good bookshops.